Hello everybody and welcome back to Iowa Plains in Farming Simulator 22. Now before we start our day I would like to show you our productions over here because uh, last time I made a complete mess of this production, the furniture factory, and I put it the wrong way round. Can you believe it? And now it's the right way round. It's still pumping up pumping out all that carbon dioxide but it's the right way around and it looks fantastic look at that you can see in the window there and if we if I can just fly um, you can see I don't want to pry but you know there's all this detail in the rooms here there's a, a little bureau in there and a, and, a, and a toilet and a child's bedroom sorry I shouldn't be I shouldn't be looking in the window should I but the detail is fantastic and it's it's a new thing this is one of the new factories in the uh, platinum expansion so that's why the you know it's so good so we have already some tables and chairs from this production and we still have 12,000 planks in here so fantastic so the other production we bought last time was this massive paper factory or paper mill I think it's called uh, but nothing yet if we just stand here so we have I think more slow spawning we have you can see the carton roll we have 606 litres and the paper roll 648 and 10,000 litres of wood in here Actually, you know, we started with 13,000 litres of wood, so it's used up quite a lot of wood. So we need to keep an eye on that. Right, let's go back to the class because it's a bit of a, a sad day because this class is being sold today. But I've got one last job for it, which is to herbicide uh, field three or two down the road there, the, the, the cornfield, as I call it. Um, this this tractor has been with us on the whole journey. It ploughed this whole field when we started and, you know, made what was an abandoned farm into a proper working farm. So I'm very I'm very pleased with it, but it's time for a change. So let's switch it on and let's go down to field two or three. <laughs> It's field two. I, I can never remember which one is two and which one is three, but this is field two. And we've planted corn in here um, because we're planning to make um, cornbread, I think it is, in the bakery. Um, but this is, uh, like I said, the last job for the class to do. And then I'm going to sell it. And what I'm going to do, uh, let's just unfold stuff. What I'm going to do is buy a truck and I'm going to buy one of the trucks in the Platinum Expansion. If I can find it, I will show you. It's in the Platinum Expansion here and it's a Volvo. Uh, where is it? It's, I think, this one. Um, because I've got uh, this one in uh, my Silver Run series, so I'd like to have this one. And um, I'm going to change the colour. I didn't realise when I bought my other one that I could change the colour, but you can. <laughs> but anyway this is the one i'm going to i'm going to buy so with the money i get for the tractor which would be sixty thousand, and we have some money already uh we can afford it so i'm thinking to myself that a tractor and lorry combination is probably quite good because i'm always wanted to go down to the forest and drag big uh timber runners full of wood whenever i bring milk over from the cows you know i, I always take a tiny little tr um, tanker and i can now use a big tanker for the with the lorry attached and and so forth you know so this our, our fans out tractor that i'm going to keep um that will do all the field work like this kind of thing but the tractor but the but the lorry will do all the heavy work so i'm going to, just going to do one headland of this field and um, then I'm going to put it on a worker. So uh, as it's the last job, I'll do a fast forward.
Okay, so I've brought the fans up tractor over to finish the job because uh, obviously we need to take the class to sell it. So uh, I'll just hook this up. And um, last time I started on the, the angular bit. I'll start on the straight bit this time, which makes a lot more sense to me. So we can just, just go straight up and down the field. So uh, let's just start it off, line up and then switch it on and then start going. Right, I'll put it on a worker now. Okay, so it's on a worker and you can see it down the bottom left it's on a worker and hopefully he will do a good job. Now this tractor costs us $4,000 per hour so I want to get it paid for as soon as possible and I'm thinking in, in, I think I said August before but I think maybe October. We've got loads of stuff to sell that will bring us in quite a lot of money and I think we need to pay about 190000 So we'll leave him working and we'll go back to the class and we'll go to the shop and <laughs> sorry and it's a bit sad actually I feel a bit sad about it because you know this has been an old faithful class tractor for us it's done everything we've thrown at it and um, but you know you can see it's 34 hours old and uh, we need something I just want to freshen things up you know I'm just a little bit bored of it if I'm honest um, and I would like to have a truck I would I'd, I've, I've wanted a truck for ages so this is the thing. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> so, here we go. So, um, I think it's about 60,000. Let's have a look. So, we can repair it. Yeah, we'll repaint it. And we'll get 108,000. So, so, we must have got um, 70. We must have got about 10,000 more than, than, than uh, was, you know, when you look at it uh, here. It says here 60,000, but when you bring to the, bring to the shop, it was 70,000. So that's done. So let's find our truck. Now it's in the Platinum Expansion. And it's this Volvo FH16S. So we want it, the horsepower is fine. I wonder what the horsepower could be. Um, 750, we'll leave it at 550 because, 550 because it would cost us 80,000 I think for 750 and the wheel setup is fine um, now it's the colors the main color I want which is white and the grill color I would like a nice a nice sort of gray color uh, maybe a darker gray than that and the design color yeah light gray like that so I think that's fine I think that is fine. I quite like that. I don't want a design on it. Um, so how much is it? 152,900. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's buy it. Where is it? Where is it? Wow. Okay. And the other good thing about this is that... Let's just have a look at it. Wow. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This is just what I wanted, actually. I'm really pleased with it. 550. One day it'll be 750. The other good thing is we have a dolly and we don't need it anymore. So it's leased. So let's send it back. So that will have we got anything else we can send back? The forestry equipment I would like to keep. But while while the Fanzel is is doing the weeding, I'm gonna go down to the forest and I'm gonna take our I'm immediately use this. Let's go inside and take our timber runner without the dolly <laughs> which will be a first so ah oh, this is brilliant this is brilliant it's a volvo and i hope it's not too un-american i suppose they do have volvos in in america so you know if i was really american i'd get a, a mac anthem but um I, I just really wanted to get the volvo i hope i hope any american viewers will forgive me <laughs> but let's go and get the let's go and get the timber runner and I've never attached this timber runner to a truck before. It's always been t using a dolly. Fantastic. All right then, I'll see you at the forest. So we got here so much faster in this in this FH16, like 56 miles an hour instead of 33 miles an hour. Absolutely fantastic.
and I think there must be about 20 trees left in this forest now and we need all of them for the paper mill and there was something else oh yeah the sawmill is out of wood so we need to take some wood to the sawmill so we'll just go over here and all of these trees now are fully grown American elm trees there's nothing else here only fully grown American elm trees and there's about 20 of them and after we've cleared them I've probably said this in the last episode but in case you missed it after we've cleared them we're going to replant this whole forest with all the new machines in the platinum expansion um, I will just show you actually one of them uh, one that I use on uh, silver run which is either the EC50, EC250DL or this one, the EC380DL, with an at attachment. Um, I'll, I'll try and find the attachment. This, Rigitech, I think you can put, yeah, you can put 240 spruce in there. I'd like to put in the new trees, the, uh, the new ponderosa pine and lodgepole pines, but they're not on this map, so I can't do that. So, anyway... Let's do a bit of forestry. I had a lot of trouble getting these four American elm trees on here today. It seemed to... I didn't seem to have the room for it. I don't know, there's one bit over here that I can't... I can't seem to do anything about. Oh, hang on, I can do something about this. There, but there was a bit sticking out... Oh, it's sticking out down there now. Oh gosh, I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm not worried about this truck being able to, to pull everything, but... Uh, Alright, let's just strap it all down. So... Actually, before we do anything, let's go and see how the Fanzel is doing. Okay, so he's missed a few bits, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this off screen, but I'm just going to fill in the bits that he hasn't done. Okay, all done now, and I'm not entirely sure what this is. Is that a bit of corn that we haven't... I'm not quite sure what that is, but anyway... All right, well, everything's done. I'll just leave this here for the moment and I will take the truck and I think we need to go. Let's have a look at our productions. So, what's this? The sawmill for the planks. Okay, we need to go there and there's loads of planks there that we should take to the the furniture store. Um, okay, yeah, I think we'll go to the sawmill. Right, we, actually... <laughs> Do you know what? I should be there in a flash. And let's just see how this truck does with all this wood uh, in, the, in, the, in the timber runner. I'm sure it's fine. I've missed a bit there. Uh, better pick it up. That's better. Oh, this is brilliant. Look at that. I don't think we're going to need to have like 750 horsepower in here because I think 550 is enough for what we need to do. Um, yeah, it will cost 80,000, but this is fantastic. All right, I'll see you at the sawmill. Okay, I got here in absolutely no time in this truck. Absolutely no time. Um, so... I was just thinking we need to put our planks on to distribute rather than to just uh, get into a big mess over there all the time. <laughs> um, Alright, let's put 2,871 litres. How much have we got here? Let's find out. Ah, we missed a bit as well. Okay, let's just... Uh, 
Do that. Is it in the trigger? I wonder if it's in the trigger. That's quite a big bit, isn't it? That was 2,000 litres of wood, that. Um, so, all of these planks here, um, I'll take some out of the out of the thing here because I think they're in the way. Um, we need to take the... Uh, do you know what? I think I might sell them because what I'll do now is go to the, um, the sawmill, which is here, and planks, put them on distributing. Yeah, so they distribute to the... Uh, the furniture shop. Where is the furniture shop? Furniture factory here. So that has a lot of planks in it at the moment. But um, if we put put it on to distribute now, and then I probably will sell the rest of the planks because I think we get a good price for the planks in June. Um, yeah, furniture and planks actually July. But there is some stuff to sell in June. So what I'm going to do is get back to the farm and skip to tomorrow. Where's my truck? <laughs> Here it is. Let's get in. And let's go home and skip to tomorrow. I think we're going to need another shed pretty soon. This one is getting pretty full up. Um, I will just stick this here. There's a little spot for the fans out and a slot for our our truck but there's no slot for the timber runner but that's leased so <laughs> that's fine okay i'll see you on june the first okay now june the first and we have six thousand vehicle leasing costs mainly due to the fans out over there i think that's four thousand dollars a day uh so we need to sell some stuff look at the weather it's f lovely <laughs> Brilliant. So I need to assess now. Um, we have three uh, crops growing and they are canola, corn and sugar beet. So canola, when do we harvest canola? In July. Okay. And corn in October and sugar beet also in October. So July. So we have to look out for the uh, canola in Oct in July. Fine. Now today, I I need to look at actually. Uh, where is it? This, because in June we can sell olives and olive oil, and there's something else we could sell in June, which is the paper rolls and chairs. The new thing, which isn't. I don't think it's even on here. No, it it says chair there in March, but I just want to check that. So here's chairs. And the best price oh not in june in july okay we won't sell we won't sell chairs but what we will sell is the what is it now the olive oil let's just see how much olive oil is at the moment just here five three two six what what month is it june five three two six and 5405 at wood sale. Okay, let's go and get the fans out and sell all our olive oil. And there's quite a lot of it, so. I think we should get some good money coming in today. All right, I'm gonna take the this trailer here, which we now own, and I'll see you at the oil mill. Look at all the olive oil. Flipping heck. <laughs> There's a lot of it there. Uh, so let's uh, let's pick it up with a bit of auto load if we can. And how much more? All right, 23,000 litres. So we need to go to Wood Cell and it's 5404 five, and the top price is 5326. So that's a really good price today. So go to Wood Cell. And I think also we need to sell furniture. Let's have a look at the price for furniture. Okay, top price 3760, Wood Cell 3805. So I need to go to Wood Cell anyway. So I'll, I'll pick up the furniture when I'm there. I will see you at Wood Cell. Okay, quite a lot of furniture and it's a good price as well. So, and this is a place to sell it. So everything's in our favor today.
<laughs> 14,000 litres of... Uh, do uh, you know, I've no idea how much, I can't do it in my head, how much we'll get for this lot, but uh, this is the place to sell it anyway. So, let's sell. <laughs> Look at that! 177,549 and 25 I think our environmental score is 7% no it's 14% actually S um, we have enough to pay for this tractor now uh, shall we pay for it let's let's just see how much it will cost purchase 194,000 do you know what I'm gonna buy it because otherwise, we're paying $4,000 a day, $2,000 an hour for this tractor. We've paid for this tractor now. That is absolutely fantastic. And we've got more stuff to sell as well. But for the moment, I'm going to get back to the farm and skip to tomorrow. Because I'd like to progress the time a little bit. Uh, we do need to make some hay for the cows. But I think we'll do that tomorrow. So I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow. So we made, 20, we made 51 bales and I've got 28 of them here so there's plenty more bales to go. Um, so let's just pop the hay in here. Um, I've got unloading left on so I just need to... I'll go in here otherwise there are collisions and I, I don't like that. So um, right, look in the mirror and see if we can un unload on the left. We can. So. Oh, it's all gone in. <laughs> I thought it was all going to be there. Look at the state of this tractor. We've only had it for two hours. Uh, anyway, let's go out and have a look at our productions. Because, um, like I said, days have passed and I haven't even looked at them. So, what's over here? This is... Oh, this is all raisins, isn't it? Yeah. So, how many... How much... 4,000 more raisins in there. Let's just push them over a little bit. Uh, a bit more. <laughs> now raisins we have to sell I think in October and we should have loads of them uh, in October. What about, this one isn't on because we don't have sugar. Look at the tables and chairs we've got. You know I, I might need to take some of these out of the way as well. Let's just turn on super strength. And yeah just do this otherwise we might not get any more so... Yeah, look at that! Loads more! <laughs> Fantastic! And it's probably the time to sell these things. We'll find out next episode anyway. That'll be enough for now, I think. What about the paper mill? Do we have any cartons? We do! Look at this! I've never seen these before, actually. Two cartons. So, I think they're worth quite a lot. So, anyway the end of the episode thanks very much for watching again and we have some very productive productions <laughs> and two new machines can you believe it uh, so fantastic I'll leave you with this view of these things that are choking the atmosphere with carbon dioxide and thanks for watching and bye for now